And good morning. Good God morning. How are you today? T-I-G-F. Thank God it's Friday for us. This is by Senator Karan. Hey, Arthur, how are you? Good morning. Share the sound. I am Rosa J, doing it God's way each and every day. And I am so grateful. Grateful to be alive. It's such a fabulous time in technology and life. Things are just awesome. I might be behind the times, but I got an echo for a Christmas present. And so I've been playing with it. Can you imagine just saying, Alexa, cut my lights on. Alexa, change the channel. Alexa, listen to music. Ah, I am so grateful. Hey, Barry, how are you? Share this out and like this. I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way each and every day. And I am grateful. Father, I come to you in gratitude. My answer and my mantra for this year is thank you. More, please. They say thank you is the best prayer ever. Thank you. Living in gratitude. Grateful for a whole bunch of things. And we name them out as we come to the end of this great year of 2018. And I know it has been a fabulous year for a lot and a tumultuous year for some. I understand that. Things happen. People get all in their emotions. Folks leave this planet. And I often think about leaving this planet. <laughs> you know, there's a story out. Um, this music, I love it. But you may not be able to hear it because it's not on speaker. But it's a nice background music for your mind. Barry Burns, my brother. It's so nice to have you with me. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for listening. Um, oh, I was saying that there's this story. I think it's where, when things may come um, that talks about the afterworld, and a lot of other things. And I always thought that when you leave here, they say absent from the body is with God. And can you imagine? I, I, I imagine that place to be a place of wonder, a place where you move into another dimension, where you can actually, if you're in spirit, and spirit is everywhere, and if you're with God, then you're everywhere at the same time. You can help all kinds of people move all kinds of mountains and open all kinds of doors and oh, help your friends get over some things that are happening in their life. Put things in their mind and their consciousness that will make them better. To be an angel of God. Hmm. That's what I think death is about. Being with all your ancestors at the same time, folks that you knew, and folks that you don't know, and then making the choice to come back. Mm. That's what I got from that movie, When Things May Come. Anyway, at this given time, and we're not going to stay here long, I don't think enough about what I feel about what's going on. Life is good and all is well. Life is good and all is well. Namaste. Life is good and all is well. You know, I wouldn't want, I, I can't imagine being any place else but where I am right today. So I've been reading this book and listening to this book called The Four Agreements. And sometimes we don't understand that we, this is my opinion of life. We come here to learn life lessons. We can get stuck and stay with all those antiquated dreams or antiquated decisions or beliefs that we just kind of 
unconsciously agreed with until we start doing some research and start feeling some kind of way about that the life that we're leading where i truly believe that we have signed up for whatever's going on in our lives we create our world by the things we think the things we say uh say the things that we believe as truths and not all of those things that we believe is truth are actually the truth it took me a while to understand the difference between truth and the truth or the truth there are some spiritual laws that designate and actually work in our favor if we allow it to things that work in our favor if we allow them to. Things that may go against everything we were taught as children, consciously and unconsciously. Everything we heard our parents say, our teachers said, our, our um, pastors say, the priests that we knew, the ministers and reverends that we knew, the friends that we had, and the family that we had. And a lot of times when we're children, people speak in anger so please share this out share this on your page someone may be looking for this i feel that people are looking for this kind of consciousness that takes you beyond your life as it is today we are in the image and likeness of god there is no pain, no unhappiness, no illness in God. But we sign up for these things most of the time unconsciously by the things that we think, the things that we believe the doctors to say, the things that we don't really know about how to live in a harmonious life where illness doesn't affect us, where poverty has no place in our life, where friendship is the thing of love, that we can actually live in a loving space no matter what goes on around us. Most of the time, we as humans unconsciously say yes. Yeah. To a lot of stuff that never ever concerns us I, I i get into for me i get into the place where if i can't do anything about it if i can't help or change the situation which most of the time i cannot why fret just bless it and let it go i was at this uh, event with reverend beckwith reverend dr michael beckwith a couple of years ago. And in the event, at the last day of the event, we were all gathered together for the last presentation and someone got sick in the first row. I mean, to the point where they had to uh, call the ambulance. And Dr. Breckworth said in his beginning of the speech, when he noticed what was going on, he said, I send healing and prayer for that situation that it may come out in the best way ever and went right back to his speech right back to his speech sometimes that's all you can do that's all you can do you just can pray over it and keep it moving because god does amazing things when he hears your prayers he answers all prayers we have no control over anybody or anything which brings us to the four agreements now i had said earlier um, that we unconsciously say yes to belief systems that we are taught how many people agree to that if you agree that you have unconsciously come to understand that there are certain things that you agreed to that you were not aware of for example Ah, ah, that money doesn't grow on trees. The fact is, it doesn't, but 
Another fact is it's made from trees, right? <laughs> or that uh, the things we say out of our mouths does not affect us. That's not true. If you're constantly looking in the mirror and saying, oh, God, I have bags under my eyes. Oh, I'm getting fat. Oh, oh, I am just not. I'm so ugly. You're saying those things to yourself. You're not loving you for you. So you agree upon that, and then things start happening. You start gaining more weight. Or you start getting deeper in the bags under your eyes. Or your life just falls apart. We have to learn to state our agreements in truth. We have to learn to love ourselves and others. Yesterday we talked about um, the first agreement. And the first agreement was being impeccable with your word, talking and speaking in integrity and in love about everything and everybody, not gossiping or saying things that you aren't don't about other people that would hurt them. Think about that. It is, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Barry. You inspire me. You know, it is so easy for us as human to get into our intellect and try to intellectually figure things out. But they say often that you should live and speak and act like God. We are actually the image of God here and God is love. We can't put human perspectives on a spirit who's beyond us. He created everything in love. That's why after he did things in Genesis, he said, and that is good. Because it's all good, even if it makes us feel bad. So let's get to, because feelings can change, right? We can change our feelings. We can change our thoughts. We, can, we have control over us and only us. Everybody else, they got to control of themselves. All we can do is be the image and likeness of a loving God, no matter what the situation is. It always calls for love. So that comes to the second agreement, to change your life. These four agreements are agreements that will change your consciousness, change your life physically. It will bring more good to you if you think and agree to these kinds of agreements. And there are a lot of them that you could agree to, but the second one is don't take anything personal. I don't take anything personal. Isn't that heavy? Don't take anything personal. What does that mean? And what does that look like? You have to think about that. Not, oh, excuse me. Nothing others do is because of you. Nothing, not a thing you do or not a thing that anybody else does should affect you. It's not because of you. So what does that mean? You know how you in a relationship, let's talk about that for a minute. And you may decide that that relationship doesn't work for you. And your partner may say, well, if you hadn't done such and such, I wouldn't have done such and such. No, you did what you did because you wanted to. Just as I do what I do because I want to, not because of you. I have made a decision to leave or to change the relationship in love. Don't stick around stuff that doesn't, that's not healthy for you. If you're not feeling good about yourself or the other person, then you need to get out of that relationship or you need to talk about it. But nothing anyone does is because of you. Nothing. They might want to blame you, but it's not them. The next thing is what others say or do 
is a projection of their own reality. Their own dream. Let me repeat that. Think about that. What others say or do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. And be all right with it. Their own reality. I love people when you're saying stuff, things like what we're talking about now. And they'll say, but the reality is, it's not the reality. It's your reality. When you say the, that means one thing. There is only one truth. And there's only one real true reality. And that's the reality of love. In everything, excuse me, in your family, in your job, in your actions, it's all about love. It's not the world as we see it being the reality. It's the reality that most people think are the things that they see, hear, feel, touch, and smell. But we as humans, must learn to go beyond that which is physical and see love in everything, in everything. So don't let someone tell you, oh, blame, play the blame game with you because it's not. They did what they did because they wanted to. They did how they did it. They did it because they knew no other better way to do it. What others say or do is a projection of their reality, not yours. And the last thing is, when you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be a victim of needless suffering. When you are immune Meaning that when you get to the point where it doesn't affect you, it doesn't change your joy, your love, your happiness. You, you don't change who you are because of others' actions. When you get to that point, you will then end all suffering. When you walk in love and don't take anything anybody says or does personally, Life becomes easier to bear. Life becomes more joyous. Not that just happy, but joyous. When you can see joy in everything. Because people's words and actions really don't affect you. They just bounce right off. And you just can smile and bless them and keep it moving. So when you go through these things of, of life, Keep moving towards that God feeling that all is good. Never, ever speak badly about another person. Never, ever allow someone's spitting up on you change your world, your feelings. It's not you, boo, it's them. But what is your part in it is how you allow it to affect you. And I used to wear my feelings on, on my sleeve. You know, people say things and I'd get all upset or I'd start crying and I'll be all hurt. But that's their reality. What they say to you, about you, with you is their reality. And all I can do is bless them and make a choice. The choice being, do I want to be around these people or do I need to find a new set of people? I remember early in my sobriety, because I am a sober person, I used to say, Lord, I want to be surrounded by God-given, loving people. 
360 degree. Every friend, every organization, everything I do, I want to be surrounded by love. And it happened. I am surrounded by loving people. And new people try to come into my life. And when they start hearing what and how I speak, and, you know, and I'm not saying I'm perfect because everybody gets a little angry. But what I do differently now is I think about it before I react. I think about what I'm going to say or what I feel like saying. And then I ask myself, is it that, is it that important? Life is not about me um, treating people like they treat me. Life is about me living a God-given life, walking in a path of love, even if it hurts, even if that hurt just stays for a second. And it does. It'll hit you. And then you just let it go. I release that because that's not me. That's who they think I am. When you become immune and not take what people say or do personally, it ain't about me. Just like my life is not about them. Their life is not about me. People speak and act in their own reality. And they, may, they are a work of art just like I am. I have to accept that God is working on everybody, either consciously or unconsciously. And when you become consciously aware of you and your relationship with God and your relationship of how to project that love into the world, life becomes so much easier. So if you agree or if something has touched your heart, share this out. Go to my YouTube channel. It is in the description. Like and subscribe and watch other videos. I am a health and wealth coach. I am into projecting a more abundant life and offering people to change. So I'll see you tomorrow. Give me some likes and some hearts. And just think about it. Do not take anything personally and become impeccable with your words, truthful with your words, and think about how and what you say. Be blessed. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. It will never, ever change. Have a good God day. It's Friday. And have a blessed and prosperous life. I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way each and every day. Like my and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh-huh.